Hi folks, welcome to Lindock in the southern end of the Barossa Valley. And what, what is an absolutely gorgeous autumn day. You know, Grenache is one of those vines that really hold their leaves through autumn. And you can see by the, the gold and the like red leaf, it's just an incredibly beautiful sight. And what else is beautiful is the wine that comes from this. This is the fifth wave Grenache and it's one of our old vine garden wines. This is the vineyard that actually started it all. In fact, it was 1999 but when the first lot of grapes come in off this amazing vineyard and my brother Paul Lindner, our winemaker, saw this fruit and just said, this is so amazing, we just have to make a straight Grenache from it. And that was really the beginning of the fifth wave Grenache. So, you know, Grenache has an amazing history in the Barossa. Um, in fact, we've got vineyard planted here still from the 1850s. Uh, it's believed to be the oldest Grenache vineyard in the world, owned by the Cirillo family. So Grenache has got this amazing pedigree and amazing history. In fact, if you think of Barossa and what are the varieties that help shape it, Grenache is definitely in the top three. So Grenache has been here from the beginning and it played an integral part in our fortified wine industry, which is really what was the industry that really started the Barossa and, and helped the Barossa to navigate its way. As people started changing to dry, red Grenache took on a whole new meaning and it started to become a great blender. So you see a lot of Grenache, Shiraz, Mataro blends. So Grenache has got a new place in the Today, world. Today, due to some of the, these younger generation guys looking at things like Pinot Noir and Gamay, they're the ones that have really led the way in, in actually not being afraid to let Grenache be Grenache and has inspired this sort of change, I suppose, stylistically in this wine. So when Paul looks at this, he's really not trying to like sort of bolster it. He's just trying to let the Grenache speak, not only of variety, but of place. You know, Grenache loves sand and this red, rich ironstone sand up here in Lindock is just amazing for this wine. So when I look at Grenache, you know, it's lifted fragrance, it's, it's in cherries and it's decadent. And then when you taste the wine, oh yeah, it's got these incredibly tight but refined tannin structures. It's soft in the mouth, but still got this really beautiful length of flavor. Fifth wave Grenache, you know, this is an amazing little wine. This isn't just a bottle of Grenache. You know, this is an ode to, to history and evolution. Cheers.